Yo, what up, what up, what up, friends? Boxing match is coming up this month of July. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list out all these fights because I'm not sure that you actually want to talk about all of them. Um, and then you give me the club bangers for which ones you want. So okay. starting June 29th, we have Teofumo, Teofimo Lopez, excuse me, 20 and 1. Huh? Mm, right. Hear me? We're good? Okay. No, you're good. Teofimo you're good. Lopez. Okay, Teofimo Lopez, 20 and 1, will be going up against, and as you quoted in your in your email to me about the lineup, a nobody, uh, Steve Claggett, 38-7-2 uh, and two for Teofimo Lopez's B WBO Junior Welterweight title. The same night, we have Juan Francisco Estrada with a 44-3 and three record going mm -hmm. up against a huge, huge prospect. Some even ranked them in their pound for pound prospect. list. Uh, Jesse, uh, well, you know, yeah, that's I said. As I said, some people, some people rank him in their pound for pound top ten. Yeah, so yeah, obviously not. Mind. But he's nineteen. He's nineteen and zero. Jesse Bam Rodriguez. He is actually going to be fighting for though the WBC Junior Bantamweight title, who is actually owned right now by Juan Francisco Estrada. And then finally, July sixth, we have Shakur Stevenson going up against Artem, and I hope not to butcher this. Hurry to you, Yan, to you, Yan, um, for the over. WBC. Spinach title. Spinach Spinach show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't say that. Uh, send your complaints to Clubber D. Uh, Shakur Stevenson has a 21 and 0 record. Uh, the other artichoke uh, is 12 and 1. I call him an artichoke. <laughs> <laughs> WBC lightweight title. All right. So there's the three next main fights that are coming up. Start wherever you would like, and I'll, 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 I'll control from there. Well, I'll start with the, the one that's next week uh, with Shakur Stevenson card. You also got Oshaki Foster defending his WBC belt, and he was on my knockout oh, year, yeah. year last year. Oh, he's, he's on that card. And also Keyshawn Davis, shout out to 757, represent Virginia. He's on that card as well. So that's not a yes. bad card that that, 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 that's that good, that's having. Card. And Tio Fimo Lopez, I, I, uh, Mike brought this up on Tony Savant's channel when we got on the other day. They're not, it's mm -hmm. on These are fights on ESPN. They're not even promoting this, okay? You, but Steven, uh, Steven, uh, Teofimo Lopez, you got him fighting, um, uh, Johnny Lopez, Nobody. Steve. Like, I don't know who, I don't know, yeah, I know, right? I don't know who this guy, like, who are you fighting, Teofimo? Like, he's been fighting these guys, and they've been close fights, which is crazy. But, um, you know, I got uh, Teofimo's gonna win. He's gonna, he's gonna, yeah, I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't think we fighting. needed a club banger yeah. on that one. <laughs> no, not even. That's, a, that's the biggest obvious. Um, Bam, Bam's not a prospect, Bam's in my top 10 pound for pound list, and a band keeps it up once Ooh, it comes to once he becomes undisputed, uh, Ben Rodriguez um, is going to probably fight uh, the monster if, they, if he keeps moving up. He's at 112 pounds, I believe. I used to weigh that back back last week, but I had diarrhea. But anyways, in so a way, Bam, let's go. Bam already has two belts. Okay, so he's going. He's trying to get undisputed in that division, and once he does that, he's going to move up, and then hopefully he'll, he'll fight the monster soon. But Ben Rodriguez, he's in my top ten. Like if you guys want to want to fire to watch, get the zone. Ask your cousin for for uh for his his Ooh. log on, you know what I'm saying, or ask somebody, or just pay for it, okay? Or just watch Ben Rodriguez fight on Saturday. He's, he's a hell of a good fighter out of Phoenix, Arizona. You know what I'm saying? Omar stuck doing a punch, which is pretty funny. Oh, he's back now. Uh, uh, who's the other fight we had? Uh, oh yeah, I got Bam. Shakur I got Bam Stevenson. Yeah, I figured you had Bam oh, getting that belt. Yeah. So what's funny about that Shakur fight? Now he was gonna fight Frank Martin back in the day, but Frank Martin chose not to fight him. And waited waited a little while to fight Tank. The person Shakur is fighting is the person that Frank Martin fought last, who a lot of people like myself thought he beat Frank Martin. Frank Martin looked like trash before the tank fight. And it was against this person. And this person got his first loss uh after they gave it to, to Frank Martin. But he's not a slouch. He's not a slouch, but I got Shakur Stevenson winning. He looked Shakur didn't look la didn't look good his last fight because of a shoulder injury or whatever he was dealing with, but uh, all he was doing was just hitting and running. But um, this fight, I think Shakur should showcase uh, his skills and show everybody why he's a two-division unified world champion and why my pl master plan in boxing is going to be Tank is going to fight Lomo, and they're saying that's going to be for the uh, linear and ring magazine belt, which is it should be for uh, one, one, 135. Once Shakur gets through with this fight, he's going to fight uh, Lomo's countryman who beat Navarrete. Uh, that's going to be for both the belts. And then the winner of those two fights, Fight each other next year around this time for undisputed at 135. That's my master plan. If it doesn't happen, I'm gonna talk to somebody. I'm gonna make it happen. Okay, that's that's that should be that's what boxing needs, especially for those lighter weights and all you 
tank stands. I mean, fans, y'all want that to happen because now at age, he'll be 30 in a couple months. Now he thinks belts matter. So now he wants to fight the best. So mm. there you go. Mm -mm -mm. Well, thank you for all of that excellent analysis. Wasn't even a, a need for any club banger sounds because of the fact that we all knew where you were going in all three of those fights. Uh, but just for uh, 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 dexterity purposes, uh, I just want to do it one time. Club bangers. Club. There we go. <laughs> just try to do it just for just for uh, keep exactly. us on track a little bit. Um, so. That being said, thank you for all that. And yeah, as you mentioned, our boy Oshaki Foster will be fighting, and he's no slouch here, Robson Conceso from Brazil. Yeah. Um, so that, that should be a really good fight. Robson fought, uh, I think he's he's fought Shakur. He's fought a couple other uh, lightweights. He's not a, he's a good fighter. He's a really good fighter. Um, Oshaki's at 130. So um, I wonder if he's going to move to 135 up there where Shakur is. Who knows? But Oshaki Foster, man, that guy, that's one of the fights of the year I saw last year. Probably one of the better fights I've seen that, in quite some time. And that was my next question for you is when Shakur uh, keeps his belt, um, uh, what are plans for him next? What would you do next if you were him? Oh, like I said, he needs to fight uh, Dennis Barechik. I think I said his name right. Uh, the, the guy who just beat Navarrete for the WBO because he has the WBC. Tank has the WBA. Lomo has the IBF. So okay, you got cool. four people, four belts. Each we'll of them fight each other. Get together. There we go. You know what I'm saying? And both of the, this is Shakur. This is a very significant fight for Shakur because this is his last fight on top rank. So is he going to stay with ESPN or is he going to take money and go somewhere else? He told Tank he wants to fight him, but he doesn't want to make it make a, a deal with PBC and fight him a five fight deal and him fighting him on the fifth fight. You know, he wants to fight him now. So uh, Mayweather's offered his olive branch to Shakur saying, hey, you know, I like what you're doing. Sign with me because um, he hates Tank right now. So he wants anybody to be Tank and also um eddie hearn for matchroom the zone he's recently been uh saying oh yeah Shakur just uh he's just an amazing fighter that's my english uh accent right there but you oh, know wow been, yeah, that's it right that there shout out, shout out to paddington the bear i see you out there paddington 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 bear yeah, do you know about. where he came from do you know where he came from come on uh, tell me you remember please remember please the remember where he came from the cartoon paddington no, where yeah, from? no, remember Peru. Peru? Yeah, he oh, immigrated like, from Peru to England. Like, that's his oh, actual like origin the, story. Oh, like, I like the, all the Jamaicans over there and stuff. Okay, like Lennox <laughs> Lewis. Okay. Because you remember gotcha. when we used to do the podcast and you would do uh, USA Paddington? I, you mm -hmm. remember I would put in that little song? I, I, I got the uh, the theme song and I put it in. It would be like, Paddington, he came from Peru. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> It was a whole backstory. It's amazing. I thought you remembered that, but I don't know why you. No, know. I don't. I don't know how you got from Peru to London, but whatever. Yeah, I don't either. But that's that's neither here nor there. It was a theme song, and it was like he came from Peru. Okay, you know what? I'm not even go there. <laughs> to I'm be with me and you. P a d d i g t o n Paddington. Um, I did. I do not see Franklin's magic fill. Oh,